Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Thanks for watching my channel and checking things out. We're back on the Trailblazer. I guess we can call this Trailblazer Mania. We'll be doing a lot of little things to it, and I hope this helps you out. And if it does, give me a thumbs up and let me know where you're watching from. All right, my problem is when I start this up in the morning, idles really, really fast. I mean, it is just way through the roof. Uh, the RPM is up around almost 2,000, 3,000 RPMs, and it takes a while for it to drop down. And I've been hearing a hissing sound, and I've been looking, and I couldn't find anything. So eventually, I took some uh, spray, and I was spraying around, and lo and behold, I found the issue. Now, this uh, see this a lot on Trailblazers. This is your plenum, part of your plenum right here. This is all vacuum. If you look closely right there, I'm going to put my finger. See that crack? There is a crack right there on a T that comes out of this uh, plastic piece here. And I found where it was leaking, right here, hissing, making lots of noise. So, check this out. So, I've been driving this thing, uh, running it a little bit, and I just couldn't figure out why it was idling so fast. And I didn't even have a check engine light, believe it or not. So, what I did, I have these guys here. I've had them for quite some time. I, used, I bought it, this whole pack just to use one. And lo and behold, I do have... One here that will fit right on there. Sometimes I get lucky. Sometimes I just, uh, my day goes pretty good. And other days, forget it. So we're going to stick this on here. So if you have one of these on your Trailblazer, if you see a small crack starting, just pull it off and replace it. Because this here is very important because the computer has to know what kind of vacuum pressure is going on up here in this plenum. If it sees uh, ridiculous uh, vacuum pressures or sees all this air getting sucked in here and it's not supposed to be, it's going to throw the computer into a panic and it's going to start making the engine run rich and all that. So you don't want to do that. So let me go in here and we'll start it up real quick and I'm going to show you how nice it idles now. This will be a really quick video. Oh boy, it sounds much better. You can probably hear me talking. That took care of it. And by the way, this is your PVC valve right here. Your little elbow that goes down. Actually, I don't think that's a PVC valve. It could be, I'll have to check the owner's manual. But sometimes they stick them up here. Just check all these hoses right here because this is where a lot of heat gets brought up from the engine and these can dry out and crack. And that's probably what happened to that one. And I'm sure uh, sometimes, you know, people overlook this now this could still be pushed all the way on there and not leaking it only takes somebody or a mechanic working on your vehicle to bump this a little bit to pull it back off and start leaking and start having problems this happens a lot in the aircraft you take your airplane in for an annual it's running perfect when you go into the for the annual but when you come out people end up crashing their planes and getting all kind of uh, issues only to find out a mechanic bumps something or I uh, got distracted and, uh, you know, left a nut loose. But I'm just saying, you know, you have to kind of watch all this stuff. So, uh, if someone would have knocked this off while they were uh, working on it, then it probably would have been a uh, pretty easy find. It would have been hissing really loud. But it wasn't hissing that much, but it was leaking. All right, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And check out this engine. It is smooth, 128,000 miles little Ford Tech 4200 they just stick anything on an engine to call it whatever they want to call it Ford Tech doesn't really mean anything but uh, I do gotta get the headlights cleaned up all right so that's it I'm done rambling on but it's always nice to have a set of these guys laying around to fix issues like that so until my next video guys see you guys later